gamers! This is Darren from Dynasty Gaming, coming at you guys with another YouTube video. And in today's video, we are continuing our Funkin' journey in Friday Night Funkin' Part 2. Now, the thing about this video is we're going to be doing, I'm going to go ahead and enter quickly, but we're going to be doing four weeks instead of three weeks this time. Now, last video, we did a um, tutorial, week one, two, and three. And today, we're going to be trying to fit in four, five, six, and seven. So I'm going to try to keep talking to a minimum because this video is going to be a little longer than usual, or at least the last one, because um, these four weeks are a little bit longer, but they are tougher, and there's more content out of them. So, and then one more thing, uh, of course, the whole inappropriate warning thing. Like I said, it starts picking up right about this week, as you can see by the title of the songs, and you'll see in a second by the character models. Probably wouldn't show this in a school environment, I would say, but just want to get that out there. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started with week four on hard. So we're going to be going up against Girlfriend's Mob now. So, as you can see, um, choice of clothing, very interesting. Um, very interesting for mob clothing. And we got her little... I would say little, but we got our backup dancers in the background. And driving Lindsay, of course. Ah. But yeah, so the difficulty starts to pick up in from this weekend on, I would say. Like I said in the last video, you probably won't see me free full comboing a whole lot. Ah, I lost my rhythm there. That sometimes happens. It's so hard to talk with all these, like, because these parts are so much longer, so the talking is, like, at a minimum. But yeah, once again, same with the girlfriend's mom. They don't look related. I mean, I guess the only thing you can really see that they're related by, the red dress and then the brown hair. So we know girlfriend kind of gets more of her looks from her mom's side of the family, as, as you can see. Otherwise, that was the first song, Satan Panties, as they call it. And now the next song is Eight, called two, High. One. Yeah, also, too, I kind of like how this takes place on a limousine. That's kind of interesting for a setting for where this takes place. It's on a car. Oof. I missed that one, though. And like I said, I'm not going for perfectionist run. I'm just playing. I'm trying to go as fast as I can because I know this video is going to be longer and, like, the songs get a little longer too. There's a few quick ones, but, yeah. Nice. It's a good little combo we had going there. I also kind of like how, like, they have girlfriend's hair, for example, blowing in the wind. That's kind of a cool effect I like, too. Now they did that in Pico's week as well. Like, whenever the train went by. I also kind of like how, like, knows how we're having a little duet right now. I love how, like, we're having a little duet. And that is high. So as you can see, a little bit tougher. Um, but this next song, a very iconic song in the Friday Night Funkin' universe. This song Three, is two, called one, MILF. Don't ask me what that means, because I don't know. This 
speed definitely picks up, I'll say that much. It definitely picks up. Also, yeah, in case you couldn't tell already, you can still hear my keyboard. Nothing I can really do about it, once again. Like, you know, just jam it all over to the music. And now it picks up. Yep. Ooh, not bad. I think I had two misses. Look at all those six. Dang. It's a good, good song so far for me at least. I swear, every time I hit the, the arrow keys, I'm like slamming my fingers on it. I, just, I can just feel it. I don't even, I don't hear it, but I can feel it. Like I'm just pounding my arrow with my fist. And that is the end of MILF, which is the end of week four, I believe. Yep, end of week four. So that was um girlfriend's mom, mommy Miris. And I know it says mommy must murder in the corner, but her name's actually Mommy Miris. And uh I'm reading somewhere, the reason her name is Mommy Mirrors is because her girlfriend's dad is Daddy Dearest, so you see like DD and MM, so it's why it's kind of just there for just to be funny. Like instead of Mommy Dearest, it's Mommy Mirrors, so it's kind of just funny. Alright, but next up we have week 5, which um, is the return of girlfriend's dad and also girlfriend's mom. And this is a uh, Christmas theme, so we got Coco, Eggnog, and Winter Horrorland. So I'll go ahead on in, and this week actually has a lot of very familiar characters. I don't know all of them, but a few I can see is, if you look in the top right corner, you can see Henry Stickman. That's one. Also, notice how, um, oh yeah, you can also see the lemon theme up there. Also, notice how Santa's being held at gunpoint, like, <laughs> He's just sweating. He's just worried on it for his life. Also, um, the suggestive clothing on Mommy Mirror's part. But yeah, this is kind of a duet week. This is the first duet week. Unless you count Spookies and or the little spooky boys. I still don't know their name. I don't know why. I guess they're considered a duo. I just consider this more of a duo because they actually take turns. Like, Mommy Mira sings one time, then Daddy Dara sings the other time. But yeah, everybody's wearing Christmas stuff. It's kind of funny. I think the song is just about to end. Oh, never mind. Sorry, it just picks up here. My bad. This is where the song actually picks up. Dang, I almost had it. I, was, I had it for a little bit, then I lost it. Lost my groove. Oh my goodness. I swear, I have it for like the first like half of it, but then the second half of the part, it's just I lose it. Otherwise, that's the first um, song, which I believe is Coco, and I think we have Eggnog up next. Three, two, one, go. So, yeah, but like I said, there's a bunch of characters in the background that are from other games, but most of them I don't know, but there's some of them I do know. This week's just one big cameo. I 
where Santa's just... <laughs> Santa's just worried for his life right now. Alright, Daddy Dears, drop the bars. bad so far. I'm mean, probably gonna jinx myself, but I'm used to it. I'm used to jinxing myself at this point in this game. <laughs> what did I say? Maybe I just need to stop talking. I don't know. Maybe that's the answer. That's the end of the song, and all the lights cut out. So now we have Winter Horror Land up next, and a certain familiar face makes a return. Let me just say that jump scare always got me. Like the first time I experienced that jump scare, it, it like it, it almost stopped my heart for a second. And it was so small too. But a certain lemon boy makes a reappearance. Yep, the lemon demon, but he's wearing a Santa hat. And I'll let you guys think about where he got that hat from. It's up to you. Believe it or not, when this game was like in its beta, if you will, um, this was the first appearance Lemon Demon had. It wasn't until like um, later on when the Lemon Demon appeared in week two. Like, they, ha I think I remember they had it in production, but it wasn't, like, finished or something like that. So then they added it on later on. So this was actually supposed to be the first appearance of you too. Also, weird lyrics too. Yes, burning fingernails. I don't know, how do you know, how do you know my hobby? How do you know I like to burn fingernails? Just kidding. Oh my god, that was a little too early. I don't know who would want to eat rabies. Or want rabies in general. I mean, I guess him. <laughs> I mean, if he wasn't talking about eating people, it sounds like he's a really good chef. Like, he makes some good dishes. But sadly, he's talking about eating people, so it's not as good. Otherwise, that is the end of Winter Horror Land, and I believe the end of Week 5. So... Lemon Demon made a return, uh, Girlfriend's Parents made a return in a Christmas-themed week. We had Santa held at gunpoint the whole time. And Daddy Deer sitting on the chair, Mommy Mirrors in his lap with suggestive floats on. And now we have week six, which is going to take a very different turn from the previous weeks. So um, I'll go ahead and fire it on up. So this is basically, um, I think his name's Senpai, actually. As you can see, 8-Bit. And we have our first, I guess, cutscene, if you will, or, like, the first character who has dialogue. So, ah, a new fair maiden has come in search of true love. A serenade between gentlemen shall decide where her beautiful heart shall reside. And a boyfriend just talks in beep, bows, and bop, so beep, bo, bop, basically. So, yeah, this is basically, um, this kind of reminds me, um, I don't know if this is the right, probably not the right game I'm thinking of, but... It's very 8-bit, this is. We have our nice anime schoolboy and that 8-bit. This actually takes place inside of a video game, so that was explain why it's 8-bit, in case you're wondering. It's a 
very slow song, but it can be tough at times. It's really me, for, I'm just more worried about full comboing it. Like, it's not very fast, but it's just hitting the nose. Yeah, everybody just sings in an 8-bit tone. So... And I see we got all the anime schoolgirls in the background with hearts in their eyes. Um, for the first time, simping over a guy. It's kind of like finding a male Karen. Not very often, but they exist. Same with female simps. And that's actually the end of the song, too. So that is Senpai, which is the first song. And I think also his name, too. So now he's gonna get a little upset. Not bad for an ugly worm. So now he he's a little he's a little pissed. Just just a little bit pissed. But this time I'll rip your nuts off right after your girlfriend finishes gargling mine. So this is kind of you kind of see now how the the inappropriate <laughs> factor kind of kicks in. Um, he uh he really wants girlfriend I guess. And we just say Boppy bebe skidu bep. No idea what he's saying. There's no translator. Now the top half of his face is purple, and all the anime schoolgirls have red eyes, and they're crying. I don't know, but it gets very suggestive, basically. The song speed picks up a little bit. Ah! Dang it. I accidentally misclicked one note. Yeah, this song definitely picks up the pace from the first song. He's very upset. You can tell, he's really, he's really trying to beat me. I don't know why that part's rough for me. I I I, I don't get it. It's kind of like the pico part. Like, never understood why it was rough for me. I guess it's all just comes down to patterns. If I can study the pattern and memorize it, then that'll definitely help. Whew, man, that <laughs> that last part was not was. Not good. So that was Roses, and now we'll be going on to Thorns. So... Oh. So something that's burst out of um, Senpai, and it's a giant red floating head. So direct contact with real humans after being trapped in here for so long. And her of all people. I'll make her father pay for what he's done to me and all the others. I'll beat you and make you take my place. You don't mind your bodies being borrowed, right? It's only fair. So this is basically, he was a human, but he fell victim to a girlfriend's father, and he trapped him inside the game, so now he wants to try and get out. Funny thing too, is actually he um, sent boyfriend and girlfriend into this game as well, so... But I guess we get out. Well, it depends on if we beat him or not, but I mean, you tell me if we're gonna beat him or not. It's, there's a pattern. It's always a pattern. That's how I get these parts down so well, because there's a pattern. Oh my god. <laughs> I just keep juicing myself. That's all I do. It's just funny. I just find it more funny at this point that I just keep jinxing myself. It's just funny. Nice. 
And as you can see, with this whole transformation from Senpai to the Red Floating Head, the environment has also changed. It's now dark purple. Ah! I focus on talking to you guys, not saying that's a bad thing, but... It is, that's my excuse, but no excuses. And that's also actually the end of Thorns. So that is the end of week six, I believe. Yep. So that was the Hating Simulator, which is basically Girlfriend's game. And I believe the console, if you see the console on the screen, I think it's supposed to be a PS3. I think that's what that's supposed to be. I don't know my console too well, but I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. But otherwise, that was within, that was inside of her game. We beat Senpai. He got a little upset. Ella's beating him. Uh, had some suggestive language. And then we go, went up against a human that was trapped inside the game. And we beat him, so now he'll forever stay inside the game. Next up, we have Tank Man, which actually is the cover for Newgrounds, which is the website I'm playing this game off of. So, uh, we got three songs with the game. We'll go ahead on in. And this week actually introduces another new thing. Cutscenes. Well, 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 what do we got here? We should just kill you, but what the hell, it's been a boring day. Let's see what you got. So as you can see, girlfriend held at gunpoint, and we're gonna be rapping with a soldier, basically. Ah. So yeah, basically girlfriend's held at gunpoint this whole time, um, and this is taking place in like a battlefield. Or a war zone, I should say. Hey, there we go, nice. A ah, little, little too fast on that part, but not bad. I remember when everybody was raging over this week when it first came out. Like, it was this song and the next one, which uh, what everyone focused on. In case you wonder where the song Ugg comes from, um, it's because he says, that's why, he says Ugg, which I find kind of funny. That's also actually the end of the first song, which is Ugg. That is the um, end of the first song. We'll be moving on to Stress, I believe. <laughs> Pretty tight bars for a little dude who's simping over an ugly, boring little teenager that wears her mom's clothes. <laughs> So basically there's a little roast there, and now you see kind of why I pointed out that um, Mommy Miris kind of girlfriend is on Mommy Miris side because the red dress. That's kind of why I pointed out because I knew I knew what he was gonna say. So that's kind of why I pointed it out. I just love how girlfriend just sits there and just waves her hands in the air. There's not a care in the world that two guns are being pointed at her. Yeah, this song definitely picks up in speed and difficulty. This is where Tank Man ascends, as um, everybody says. So here we go. Not bad. But he's not done yet. Still, he's still ascending. Ah. 
Ah, I missed that first off, but I got the long one help. But he's not done yet. Dang, what a way to end. That was so good. So that was stress, but I mean, geez, what a way to end that. I mean, that was a great, that full combo, the last part. Effing damn it. So this is where the language well played, comes in. You little shit. But this is war, and in war, people die. Man, get rid of the fire. Sorry, no prob for you this year. <laughs> oh, that's not good, but... Pico to the rescue! Ah, uh, look who it is, your sexually ambiguous, angry little friend. Don't you have a school to shoot up? There's one way to settle this. Let's rock, you little cunt. <laughs> you little cunts. So yeah, there's definitely language, so once again, don't show this, like, to your classmates during school, basically. Also, the whole Pico and school shooting thing that actually goes back. It actually has history because he actually saved the school um, from the school shooter in a previous game that he was in, which I'm not going to touch on because, once again, like I said um, last video about Pico, that's going to take too long. Nice. Great start. Yeah, Pico's just shooting all the tank guys in the background. He also shoots to the B, which is kind of cool. I kind of like how he says that in the middle of the song. That's so cool, how he has a line in the middle of the song. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's creative. I've been doing pretty good so far, and I'm gonna jinx myself. I mean, what? I mean, I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but I mean, it's still, what, what did I say? I thought about too much. Once again, thought about too much. And that is the end of week seven. And we got a little cutscene I'll let you guys watch from the end of the game. So as you can saw, you saw kind of very briefly, Tank Man is the cover of Newgrounds, basically. So that's gonna how they got that week. Oop. Got Santa. Close up a Santa. Yeah, see inside her game. Restricted military zone. So here you kind of get a glimpse of all the mods that exist. And there's actually a few mods in there that we'll be playing, so... And here's all the different creators that made all of Friday Night Funkin' content. I don't- don't worry, we're not in there. Because this was made a while ago, so... We- we won't be in there. So basically, this trailer is for their Kickstarter, which is done by now, but their Kickstarter actually raised $2 million. I think maybe a little more than that. So, I mean, yeah, 20 new weeks, 60 songs, mechanics, cutscenes, two-player, playable characters, I mean, they're gonna have a lot of stuff. Like, they're gonna make a full game. They got much more money than they wanted. But yeah, like I said, this is basically just for their Kickstarter, which is already over. But, I mean... It is so good to watch. So 
So yeah, this was on Kickstarter. No, nah, but I mean, I gotta admit, like, the, the community for this game has been very, very good to this game. I mean, there's so much support for this game. Like, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. The amount of mods, like, all the different videos that content creators have made. I mean, it's crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, enter, because actually, the thing is, if you leave it on that title screen, it plays the trailer again, so... But, I mean, otherwise... That was the end of week 7, and the end of the story mode for Friday Night Funkin'. Mm, excuse me. So thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, I do apologize for being a little longer than usual. I tried to cram in as much as I could, I tried to do as, not as much talking as normally, as I normally would, that way I could fit in more, and hopefully get less time. But, otherwise, like I said, that's going to be the end of all the normal, I guess, vanilla Friday Night Funkin'. And now we'll be moving into mods. And we already had our first mod request, which will be the Tricky mod. So, next video, I'll be playing through the Tricky mod. And you guys, and I have a bunch of other mods. Feel free to request any mod you want. If you want to look up a mod and just request it, that's fine. I have mods of my own that I plan on playing. But otherwise, we'll be doing the tricky mod up next. But if you have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, once again, I really like the subscriber count. We're heading up, not down, and that's great. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it and share it with all your friends so we can get our view count up. But otherwise, that's all I have to say. Thank you all so much for watching again. And I will see you guys in our next video. Farewell.